Hi everyone, Cody Don here, and I'm currently in Grant Thompson's lab. What's up everybody, it's very good to see you again. So we just got through making a video of uh, pulling mercury up through a glass tube to see how high we can suck it with our uh, mouths and also using a vacuum pump. Depending on where you are on the earth determines how much inches of mercury uh, you actually can extract. So today we're going to take advantage of that fact to make a weather forecasting device. A barometer, old school style. All right, so I think I'm going to have you uh, make the little uh, bracket to the bottom that holds the mercury. I think you wanted to use that aluminum stuff, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, All to right. get cut in our aluminum, we're going to bring out the big guns. I'm going to also cut some uh, plastic here. We're just going to strap the glass tube in place just using some plastic so you can actually see through it. There we go. Piece of aluminum is going to go on the back of the board, bend that at a 90 degree angle, and it's going to create a little L bracket. We're assuming the mercury doesn't get loose and destroys the aluminum. <laughs> there we go. You know what my workbench used to look like that? Once really? upon a time? <laughs> <laughs> Not so much anymore. Well, you want to wait until you actually try? Yeah, good idea. <laughs> Let's uh, use the empty bottle for doing that stuff. Good thinking. Okay, we'll do something like that. Fold that in. <laughs> All right, there you go. Okay. And we'll just bend up the back. Like so. Yep. Sound good? Throw a few screws right there in the back. Um, We could run the strap along this part here. Yeah, you're right on top of the metal. And then do a metal strap, maybe. If we if we screwed it down right in tight here, it would hold it nice and tight like that. It just happens to be the same with this ruler. That's very convenient. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The other one. Cool, cool. Now these should be interchangeable. We can take the one Oh, maybe not. <laughs> That's in there pretty good now. That's sucked down pretty tight. I kind of want it to be like that anyway. Perfect. We, we can just like pour it Transfer it in, in yeah. Because so I was thinking about this, like if this tips over, the mercury's going to run out, right? Mm -hmm. What if we had kind of off to the side for the main tube, had another tube coming off here, and like had a balloon wrapped around it to catch any mercury. I'd keep the vapors out too, equalize the pressure. My concern would be the balloon would react to the pressure too before well, the mercury would. Well, yeah, but the balloon can just kind of flex and let the pressure in and out without letting the mercury through it. Mm, Makes sense. That's true. So you're going to epoxy the lid to the glass. Right. And then you're going to put the tubes in and epoxy it from the top? Yeah. Just like this. Okay. Okay, you happy about that? Now we want it just off the bottom, right? We don't actually want it touching the bottom? Yeah, no. Yeah, okay, perfect. It's right there. Let me stand this up for you. Yeah, quarter half an inch right there. Yeah, it's just got to be able to let the mercury go in and out. That should hold it, right? And that looks pretty good. Agitate it a little bit, work it in and out. A little bit of a twist. Success. Cool. I guess we'll just hold it in this bowl in case we have a mercury meltdown. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, just give it a little bend. Let's uh, flame polish the ends here. When you cut this top off, is it going to scorch the wood? Um, I'll do it a little bit above it. Yeah. We could also put a. So, where are the balloons? Um, I can't tell you. Can't tell me? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's an experiment you can't see yet. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, I guess we can get this epoxied in there then. Yeah. Is it not going in? Well, it's, it's going in. It's just, it just wants to go in too easily. Don't you want it to go into the mercury anyway? Um, no. 
it, it well you don't to, want the air it needs to be able to let gas go between it oh you're right okay hence the barometer if i could uh where'd okay. that electrical tape go and actually make that come off to the side i think would be better like so yeah is that up out of the mercury good yep. should be about perfect And since we got extra, we may as well cover that whole top with it. That's exactly my thoughts. Look at that. E doggy. Now you can take that little uh, X Acto knife and just kind of clean up the edges a little bit, I guess. Exactly. Just like cut it with the corners, maybe? Or... Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, well, hold on, hold on. There we go. I've been wanting to build a proper barometer for years. Yeah, the ruler. Yeah, the ruler. <laughs> we'll just slap it on the side here somewhere. Okay. Probably. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> forgot to add the measurements to our measuring device. The thing is, I don't really know where the mercury level is going to wind up. That's so. true. We're going to kind of make a sliding scale. So if you want, I could drill some holes in that to give it a little bit of a, like a, I don't know, maybe in the top and the bottom so it can slide. So you can make these Make it wider. adjustable. Yeah. All right. I can, there's your balloon. How far do you want it to be able to slide? Like just the length of the bottle? Like um, two inches or something? Actually, probably not even a whole inch. Okay. Swing! I'm going to take <laughs> these and clean that up a little bit. Put a little screw down in there with a washer. <laughs> Boom. Perfect. That's actually a pretty slick little system, my friend. Yeah, I think we could uh, vacuum it now. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. Should we... Let's set it kind of out front. Should we show them what we got right now? Like yeah. where we're at? So here's the uh, barometer. It is now almost complete. We just got to evacuate this tube here so that there's no air inside of it. So the vacuum will allow the mercury to be pushed up into it. Okay. So same thing as we did before. Just kind of turn the pump on for a second. Get the vacuum and then you can just turn it on and let it run. Vacuum pump, if we let it run full power, it'll pull the mercury up and the inertia will just send it flying right up to the top. You ready? All right. Here we go. Looking Look good. at that. That's amazing. A little bit of an air bubble in there. Uh, oh, look at that. Interesting. Okay, I think our oh, epoxy... Out. Perfect. Our epoxy might have just... No, it's just the vacuum's not holding. So just... There you go. Look at that. <laughs> That's looking good. Can you twist it? Uh, good. Just like that, huh? Yep. Beautiful. Running out of mat so gas, actually. Now we can actually. cut this. I'm actually kind of running out of mat gas. Oh, really? Do you need more? No, oh, we're done. That worked so, out well. <laughs> yeah. So we might put something on the top here to protect this little nib. You know, just for a little safety. But that's the completed thing. It's in a nutshell, huh? Yep. I'm going to adjust the scale. There it is. Completed barometer. Okay. Yeah, I uh, see how it's kind of tipped on its edge here? There's a slight angle. If I bring it back up to vertical, the height of the mercury actually drops. Interesting. Yeah. I just want to see what happens when I let this go all the way to the top here. There it is. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that we removed practically all the air. There's a tiny bubble in there. Mm -hmm. So what's really interesting is by removing the gravity, it actually sucked it right up to the top because this right. chamber is completely full. I like it. Right. Can't wait to see this thing in action. I guess technically yeah. it's already in action. Yep. So we have a fantastic piece of industrial equipment here. What I want to know, Cody, now that we've pulled this vacuum and it's somewhere up around, I don't know, 25 and three quarters inches, yep. what can we expect to see over the course of the next few days? So I'm going to stick this up on a wall, probably in my house, and I'm going to time lapse it. And as the weather changes, we should see the mercury go up and down. Like right now, we've got really high pressure, really nice weather, but in a little while it might uh, have a... Uh, poor weather, if it starts to rain, uh, the pressure will go down and we'll be able to see it here. So this thing right here that we've made is basically a larger version of this little vacuum gauge that I've been using in many of my other vacuum videos. Mm. So it's kind of like this, except uh, 
as if I cut the tube short here. So if we uh, put this thing in a vacuum chamber and vacuum out the air, depressurize it, this mercury level will go down. At a perfect vacuum, the mercury level here would be at the same height as the mercury that's in the bottle here. Once again, that's because the pressure from the atmosphere is what's pushing the mercury up. If there's no atmosphere, there's nothing pushing the mercury it's up. It's a very cool device, Cody, very clever. A All lot right, of fun to thank build. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Grant. Uh, I think we're gonna cut to a video of this thing in action. I'm gonna do a time lapse over the next week or so. So when that's done, I'll publish the video and you guys get to see it. Like we mentioned in the beginning, uh, Grant and I did an experiment where we actually seen how high we could pull the mercury using our own uh, breath, you know, how much we could suck. Yeah, compared to a vacuum pump, how hard could we suck it? How high could we suck it? We tried that experiment over on my channel. So you guys wanna watch that and go check his video out.